Former Mormon prophet Lorenzo Snow summed up the Mormon doctrine of salvation by stating, as man is, God once was, and as God is, man may become. This is supported in Mormon scripture. The Father has a body of flesh and bones as tangible as man's. Yet Jesus himself clearly taught that God is spirit, that he did not have a body of flesh and blood, or flesh and bone. In spite of such clear instruction, Mormon prophet David O. McKay declared that the appearing of the Father in bodily form to Joseph Smith is the foundation of the church. Someone who says, I saw the Father, is dealing presumptuously, short-circuiting, good Christian theology. It is the Son who alone reveals the Father. This is no small matter and is the plumb line of Mormon heresy. Mormons believe that God is a resurrected man and that we can become just like him. A God cannot be made. A God cannot be created. The definition of the eternal God is that he is eternal, immortal, invisible. That's who the God of the universe is, and there is none other. A man is a created being, and as a created being, it will always be the case with him that in God he lives and moves and has his being. He is dependent upon the fountainhead of life, which is God himself. He cannot move by his own volition or anybody else's to the level of godhood, although that is very appealing to certain individuals. There's a question before the house in Christianity in our time that really is, can a man become God? That question is answered in the affirmative by many of the cults, like the Mormons, like the New Age movement. I assure you, it is totally presumptuous. I, as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, am somewhat active in what is called the New Age Movement. The New Age Movement consisting of uh, things like uh, crystal gazing, channeling, pyramid power, and so forth and so on. People of the New Age Movement are often more open to the truths of Mormonism, like the Book of Mormon, Joseph Smith working with the Urim and Thummim, than conservative Christian folks who are mostly closed-minded to these things. The goal of every Mormon man is to become the duplicate of the Mormon's concept of God, to reign over planets and solar systems, and enjoy everlasting celestial sex with thousands of goddess wives. The Godhead. Mormons believe that the Godhead consists of three separate beings, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, God the Father and Jesus Christ, according to Mormons, have tangible bodies of flesh and bone. And these are glorified bodies, so they cannot be affected by death, by pain, or by sickness. And then the Holy Ghost is a person of spirit only. He does not have a body. Uh, they are one in purpose, but not in body, and they each have their own roles. Mormons do not believe in the Trinity description of the Godhead found in the 4th century creeds. We believe that God and His Son Jesus Christ have infinite love for every single person on this earth and they want the very best for us. They love us and they weep with us when we suffer, they rejoice with us when we make good decisions, and the Lord wants to communicate with us and we can communicate with Him through prayer. The Holy Ghost is described as a comforter and He gives divine guidance to our hearts and to our minds. And that is the way that Mormons see the Godhead, and you heard it from the Mormon next door.